Hello guys, hope you have been having a lovely day. And in this video I want to show you the construction of the full wave rectifier. And before I do this, I take it that uh, you guys know how to open MATLAB and how to uh, start the Simulink library browser. If not, just go through my half wave rectifier video or else just if after opening MATLAB you can find the Simulink library browser right in there. So what we need for a full wave rectifier let us take all those things into account first of all we will be needing an AC voltage so once my search is done I'll take my AC voltage and drag it to my screen so here I have my AC voltage and then I need four diodes so let me type diode in the search and pull out four diodes onto the screen Now I have got four diodes and then I need a voltage measurement. Let me type that in the search box. Uh, it's voltage rate. My bad, I'm sorry. There we go. We have we need four voltage measurements. One across the supply, two across the diodes, and one across the load. And then we need a current measurement. Now let me just pull the current measurement into this. And now I have four diodes, one current measurement, one AC voltage source. I'll need a load. Because I'll take a resistive load, but I need um, only resistive load. But before doing that, let me take an RLC branch. So I'm gonna type RLC in the search box, and I get series RLC branch and series RLC load. But I'll go for a series RLC branch. Let me just drag that into the screen now. I need to change it into a purely resistive load. So just double click on the load and that opens the block parameters. Now I need to change the branch type to only R. And I want to change the resistance to 100 ohms. OK and then click apply and OK. Right. Now we have a RLR, it's a pure resistive thing. Now let me just change the direction of this. Let me go to format and rotate block clockwise. Right, now let us connect these things one by one. Let me just flip the diodes. Let me just do that. And also, we need a power GUI to uh, continuously uh, simulate the program. So just drag this, that'll help us. So now let us arrange, let us connect the AC voltage source, and let us flip the diodes. And this is how I have connected them to the scope. If you can see, this is the AC voltage and here is the voltage measurement across the AC circuit across the AC voltage source and diode 1 and diode 4 connected 3 and 2 connected now if we want to measure the voltage waveform across 1 and 2 it's going to be the same so we'll measure and if you're going to measure across 3 and 4 it's going to be the same so let me just measure it across 1 and across 3 so I have a voltage measurement here and a voltage measurement here and voltage measurement across the AC here and this is the load this is the resistive load and this is the voltage measurement across the resistive load and this is the current in the circuit now I'm going to give all these waveforms to the scope in here and I have increased the number of axes to 5 if you have any doubt regarding increasing the number of axes just click on it and you can change there the number of axes in the settings this parameter settings 
and you can change the number of axes in there. Okay, now let me just simulate the program. Now click on this. Now ensure that you have the speedwheel W E R G U I and now simulate it. Now that we have it on the simulation, let me just check the waveforms. There we go. There we go. Now let me just auto scale this. And this is how the waveforms of the five different things looks like. If you see the first thing, it is the voltage across the load, the resistive load because you can see it is from 0 to 100 and the 0 to 1 this one is the current across the load and if you see this minus 100 to 0 and this 0 to 100 these are voltages across the diode 1 and 3 and the last one is between minus 100 and 100 this is the voltage across the AC supply now that we have got our voltage forms correctly I think uh, this topic has uh, uh, given you enough information and I hope this has helped you. Thank you for watching.